Hello, FSG. How are you? Morning, Ox. Nice to see you. Yeah, feels like we were only here about 12 hours ago. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. However, it is, uh, what, a month and a half after that date, and uh, we've moved things forward so we can get some more crops in the ground and possibly skip forward another day and start some harvesting. That's right, yeah, we've got all those empty fields that we ploughed up on the live stream, so uh, uh, they are needing some attention, as you can see behind. Uh, quite a lot of weeds there, so... Hmm. Yep, so we're going to get in and uh, we're going to give them a pre-spray, aren't we? Pre-emergent or pre-planting herbicide, and then plant behind it. That's right, we'll just follow on with the... Uh follow on with the seed. I think we're going to put wheat in these fields aren't we? Yeah, yeah, make sure we can keep the chickens well fed and uh, not have to buy any wheat in. Yeah, it's more self-sufficient. Sounds like a plan. So, uh, you're going to kick off with the spray, are you? Yeah, if you don't mind. I don't, think, I don't know if I've used it yet. I think I might have used it once. But Yeah, no, go for it. Um, have we got any right. herbicide or do you want me to go down to the shop and get some? No, there's a couple of totes of herbicide in the uh, shed there, so we're all good oh, for that. Perfect. Excellent. Hmm. Right, I'll let you get started and I'll go and get the uh, cedar ready. Alright, have fun. Cheers, mate. Morning, everyone. Yes, we are back. Uh, had a fantastic live stream last night, I have to say. It was really fun. Uh, brilliant gro group of people in and we had some good chat and some... Uh, yeah, just very enjoyable couple of hours on the stream with Args. Uh, chatting away and everything, so fantastic. So we're back now. Uh, we're going to get everything sorted and try and get prepped. There's a lot of work to do here. There's these fields here as well as the ones at the bottom. So um, we're going to try and put wheat in them all, like Arg said, um, so that we can uh, keep our chickens fed and happy. Now, am I going to annoy him by going in here? No, he's getting the sprayer out at the bottom. So I will grab the cedar. And I will get it all topped up. I don't know which one has got the most in it, but uh, well, we can work it out. There we go, lid open. And there we go, fertiliser in. Now if I head down to the bottom, shut the lid there. Hopefully, Args is sorted by the time I get there. Now he's going to cover those fields super quickly because of the boom size of that tractor or that sprayer. So uh, he'll be into the uh, seeding pretty quickly after we're started, to be honest. There we go. We're close enough. That's good. Fill ourselves up with seed. Let's switch over to wheat. There we go. Just checking I was on the right one and not barley. We're on the wheat. So it's time to get started. And there's Args firing up. Or let him do a lap. Um, in fact, I won't. I'll just follow straight behind him. And then we'll fire up the GPS. We'll start doing the up and down rows. But uh, get that instant results. Love it. Right, everything up. Either down. We are planting wheat. Right, we'll follow Args around here, like I said. We'll get to the end of the field. And then we'll start doing our up and down rows. Probably do a couple of headlands, actually. And then move on to the up and down rows. So we will see you when these headlands are done. And we'll set up the GPS. Okay, there's the headlands done. Arx has just finished this field as well. So that is good. Now, we should have a GPS course left over from last night that we've saved. We've done enough with these uh, with these cedars now that we should have a course that's uh, appropriate. So let me just pull up GPS and see what we've got available to us. So I believe... Try seeding big field there, number nine. That's the one I was looking for. We just need to move one over. We're going to do a bit of overlap here. There we go. Turn that on. Once we caught this edge, we will be on the up and down rows. So, nothing more for me to say than uh, sit back, relax, and we'll see you when this field's done.
uh, we are coming to the end of field one here. As you can see, we are pushing our luck when it comes to seed in the tank. A few litres left and three passes, so we'll do a little bit of a test on the next pass. If it's less than 20 litres, or 20 litres or less, we will uh, be able to finish this field. If it's more than, we are just going to run short. So let's get lined up. Drop this, and just keep an eye on that little thing in the corner. I'm not optimistic already. I am not optimistic. I think we are going to be just ever so slightly short, yes. So we'll get one more pass in, and then we'll need to go and get a little bit more seed. And we might as well fill up the fertiliser while we're there as well, but that's, that's actually done pretty well. But uh, a good amount of the field done. Well, in fact, that all virtually the whole field. Um, we'll move on and do this field behind us next. Argus is headed down to the bottom fields with the spray. In fact, you can just see him over there in the top left-hand corner of your screen, heading back to the farm. We're going to end up fighting over uh, shed space. Let's see, he appears around the corner before I finish this row. There we go. We are 9 litres, 7 litres. Okay, fertiliser in as well. A quick tip, sometimes, and I don't know where it is in the shed, let me just go and have a look, because I know Argus is in there putting the sprayer away. Sometimes, handy tip if you've ever done this, there's a bag there, sometimes you can reverse up to the outside of a shed, and if you've got enough space, you can um, build from the outside of a shed. It's not, it's not a bad solution sometimes. I'm going to make a mess of this though. I think it's probably too far along, but uh, it's something I've done on other save games before, so let's see if it'll work. See, look, the lid open there, and I should be able to hit the R button. Yes, indeed, it worked. That's a relief. Sort of witchcraft do you call that? You like that? I was just uh, showing people a tip if you've got stuff stored in a shed. If you reverse up to the outside, you can fill it up from there. Realism 101 right there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, on that basis, do I need to put the uh, low loader on and go and grab some more seed? Do I? Well, um, I mean, these, t these don't take that much uh, in each load, so you could probably run a you could probably drill one or two before it runs out. Okay. We'll need to get some more. We won't get it all planted, though, will we? No. Okay, so it's 830 litres. I've just taken probably about half of that because I was on 50%. So, yeah, we probably okay. do need some more. All right. I know I can do that. That'll let you finish that field off, and then we can move on to somewhere else. Cool, mate. Sounds good. All right. Right. Let's go up. Let's get this last row done and then we'll do the field above it very quickly and you get that little bit there it's going to upset me if I don't get that FSG. Go ahead, mate. Um, would it be more efficient for me to plant the small field or come down and help you in that one? No, I would start on the next field, mate. I'll uh, not be too long on this one. Okay. Won't take long at all. I'll go do the little one by the cows and then we'll probably be ready to move over to the other two fields at the same time. Yep, sounds good. Roger that.
Right, this is us coming up to the last couple of rows. We will quickly get these done. Argus is headed down already. The fields at the bottom, the two big fields. And uh, we'll be right behind him. We've got enough to finish this field, but uh, we will fill up at the farm before we head down the other fields. Hopefully. Got enough in there to uh, get a field done each. I'm not sure. They're pretty much roughly the same size as this bottom field, I think. So we might just get through an entire field without having to fill up. We will wait and see. But first things first. We'll close off this field, and then that is everything at the top uh, planted and ready. And then all we've got is the uh, corn over here to our left, and behind that, the sunflowers to harvest. So we are getting on top of jobs again, which is great. There he is, he's just done headland and he's on the uh, up and downs now. We'll quickly do a lap and then we'll get on the case as well. Right, last few rows, Arx has finished his field, so he's joining us here now. He's just popping a few uh, of those second rows in to get us finished. We should be alright for seed, I've got 31% left. We should be able to finish this field with Arx's help. I'm not sure if we would have done without him, we might have had to go back and grab a little bit more, but uh, between us we'll be able to manage it, which is good. So uh, that is us, that is all our wheat planted. We've got a lot of wheat uh, going forward, but that should definitely help our chicken empire grow. So we'll just finish these bits off and then we'll head back to the farm. Right, here we are, let's dump the cedars back in the shed. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go against all my values and I'm going to wash it just to avoid the expected jokes. Need to paint this though as well. Look at the, uh, the paint has properly come off this. Look, he's having a disco. Are you having a disco in celebration that I'm washing tractors? That's exactly what I said, I had to go full disco <laughs> light for the fact you were doing this, it's a party. There you go sir, all clean. Need any more tips? Is that one on the house? Yeah, that one's on the house. Thank you. Did you have a tip lined up ready for me? No, I didn't actually. It would have been interesting to see what I came up with on this spear. <laughs> right. Cedar away. That's all it's waiting for us. Let's see what we do next. Well, that's a lot of fields planted, Ox. I was just thinking, we've, uh, we have. We've planted everything that had been harvested, haven't we? Yep, we have now, yeah. Hmm. Dirt doesn't stay dirt for very long around here. It certainly does not. It certainly does not. Right. Next step. What do you want to do? We bump forward a day and get that corn in. That shouldn't take us too long, should it? That nah, shouldn't take too long. Not with two combines and a couple of uh, a couple of corn heaters. We should be fine. 
Well, if it's true, if you want to hear me swear, check out the weeds that have come up in our wheat. Our uh, pre-spraying didn't work. Yep, yeah, that was a, a good exercise in just blowing cash on fertilizer we didn't need to. Yeah, herbicide. Perhaps herbicide. I did put fertilizer on. Perhaps that's why they grew. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Easy era. The wheat's looking good, though. It's up and growing, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get back in here and spray it all again, which is not much fun. That's a bit Anyhow, annoying. we're not... Yeah, we won't worry about that today. Our corn's ready to go, so we're going to go gonna see. down. There's a nice field of corn there behind you, looking resplendent and uh, ready to harvest. Hmm, does look good. So, trip down to the shop, pick up a couple of headers, and get back here and get into it, I suppose. Let's do it, mate. All right. Obviously, with No Man's Land, there's not a lot of stuff to crash into, so we don't need header trailers. There's no narrow gates or entrances that we need to... Uh, negotiate so uh, we can just hook up the header and bring it back which is quite nice so we will uh, see you down at the shop right there we go we don't have it in green so we've got two blue headers so it's gonna look rather strange on the front of mine but uh, it means we won't have any issues with uh, GPS and stuff it's like quite a big pickup when you see them both side by side isn't it they are indeed yeah I'm kind of hoping my horsepower on my base game one will allow me to do this. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's pretty flat fields. Yeah, we'll be right. There we go, my strange looking blue header. All the class fans will be getting very upset at the moment. Sorry folks, not intentional. Right, here we are, back at the farm. Args is just going to dive straight in and get stuff started. And uh we will push on and get this field cleared. I think Arg's is just setting up a GPS course, so what I'll do, I think we'll just cut this bottom uh, row or two out so that we can uh, get a little bit more access for the tractor. Unfold the combine, power things up, we'll just cut through this corner here. Right, there goes Arg's. We'll just run back again on this side and we'll maybe just move the tractor into the field and then we'll follow him up Arx has put us a GPS course on so we should just be able to follow this now all looking good as Arx turning at the top as well so we're, we are off we will see you shortly We are just finishing off field number one here. Args is just starting on that little patch up there. You can see him just coming around the corner now. What we'll do at the end here, I don't know what we've got in the tank, not much, 50%. Um, we will dump this into the trailer. I expect the trailer will be full then. So then we'll uh, run, unload that, and... Uh, oh, Args looks like Args is full as well here, so... I will stop just here we will let him unload 
we'll run this over to the silos. It's 90% in here, so he's not going to get too much in here, is he? There he goes. I'm just about full, is it? Yeah, 90%. Decent yield out of that. Yeah, for that field, it's massive, isn't it? We'll quickly tip this. Luckily, it's right on the doorstep. Should be able to uh, get back pretty quick. Two combines sitting waiting to be unloaded there, so let's line ourselves up a bit better. And here comes the rain. Are we going to get rained off, are we? I think we might be. So, right on cue, the rain has arrived. Now, I'm just going to run in between the combines. We want to get this out of the combines, but it looks like that's us rained off for the day. I'm not going to be able to combine anymore with that running, so um, it'll be the perfect time to call it for the episode. Chat to Arcs. thinking he didn't want to get out of his cab there but here he comes I was just saying you were out here looking intelligent so say something intelligent um don't eat the yellow snow <laughs> I thought you were just going to say it's raining <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for that advice <laughs> but it is raining it is raining so I think that rain stops play I think in this instance does. doesn't it it does at the moment. We don't have a corn dryer or anything installed, so we can't uh, can't dry the corn. So we'll have to come back and grab that little bit in the top field uh, next episode, I think. Hmm. Mm. Well, that's um, that's a pretty good yield. What did we get in a trailer load? Was it twelve thousand litres? Eighteen thousand. Oh, eighteen thousand. Yeah. Must be about another eight or nine thousand in there already, just about. Because I still had eight grain, eight thousand litres in my uh, combine too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, we're making uh, making some. Uh, good yield out of this one mm, that's good go a long way uh, to make a whole lot of seed in the seed maker it will indeed yeah so all good another super efficient episode I think Alex. yeah yep very productive although slightly infuriating and frustrating with the weed situation but yes live and you learn you do yeah we won't do that again until the next time <laughs> until the next time until we forget again but no, very good. All right, well, I don't really want to stand out here getting wet any longer than I have to, so uh, I'm going to go shut this combine down and catch you next time. All right, buddy. All right. We will uh, catch you next week. Yeah, stay dry. Have a good one. See ya. So while Arg shuts the combines down, I will run this over to the silo and uh, make sure it stays as dry as possible. But yes, another, another super efficient episode. Really pleased to get all of that uh, seed in the ground. As Ark said, a little bit frustrating that we uh, wasted a load of herbicide by spraying those weeds for them to come straight back. But um, lesson learned for next time, right? Here we go. Tip this. 11,000 litres in there as well. Ark thought it was about 8 or 9, but 11,000, so... Um, We've probably got about 30,000 litres in there in total already, and we've probably got, I would say, maybe another 10,000 litres still in the field, so not to be sniffed at. Not to be sniffed at. Anyway, we are done. Shut that engine down, and uh, we will head inside for a cup of coffee, put our feet up. But for now, from me and for Args, who's just over there, enjoying the view of his combines I will say thank you very much for watching hope you had fun and uh, we will see you again next time take care bye for now